Kung Fu Action Jesus! He's fighting the bad guys and making them pay. With magic kung fu, he'll save the day. It's Kung Fu Action Jesus! Okay, I don't know whether that bigger one was trying to eat that smaller one or if it was a baby, but I don't know. But that little thing right there looks like his, like, tonsil thingy. I don't know what they're called. But oh well. Uh, hey everybody, I'm Pink Picture. Welcome back to Let's Play Zelda The Wind Waker in the last part. We, um, actually ended Dragon Roost Island, which is pretty freaking fast, so you're probably wondering why I'm back in this main place here. Well, uh, we need to get that treasure chart before we, um, um, what do you call it? Face the boss? Oh, no. Uh, okay, we, we need to first swing across here. I actually love the grapple hooks. Um, control and like just the idea for the design I mean it's just really awesome how you can just steal things and how much you can do with it and how much it actually comes in handy in the game like in a lot of the other Zelda games um that you just get an item and not use it like for the rest of the game like you use it for that dungeon but um you don't really use it for the rest but with the grapple hook you can like get treasure from the bottom of the ocean and um, I'll get to that later because that'll be more important so so uh, I think we got that yeah we got the treasure chart so die thank you uh oh I forgot you know what no we're not gonna get that right now that that's the thing that away but oh well see you guys back at the boss room I forgot, uh, you guys need to, um, see this, uh, to get back up to the boss room, it's a lot easier, you can get on the teleporting thing, or you can do this, which is pretty, pretty funny of a glitch, um, come over here, do not get smashed by the fire, but you'll notice that, uh, there is this platform right there. So what you can do is originally you have to cut the thing out, but you can just jump on it. It's so funny. You're not even supposed to be on here, but it's like an elevator. That you can go up, and what's funny is you could have done that earlier in the game, but uh, yeah, it's, it was just funny. Uh, so yeah, we're almost there. Ugh. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, so there really wasn't much of cutting. That was like. I think it was about two minutes I have to cut out right there because I'm not going to stop the recording because I'm too lazy. Alright, so let's go across. Um, crap, let's get the chest. Oh, yellow ruby. Yeah, putting a giant yellow, or putting a small yellow ruby is worth putting in a chest. Yeah, on Ginger Tamil laying on the ground. Oh, Knight's Crest. Oh, Knight's Crest. Um, we're gonna get into later because we need like 20 of those and I'll get into that later. I say that a lot, but uh, speaking of the LP, so I have like 60 parts to explain stuff. Oh, joy pendant. Okay, so I don't get this. How come putting a yellow ruby in a chest is worth doing that, but not putting a joy pendant in a chest? I would rather put a joy pendant in a chest than that. But uh, let's see, is there any, is there any Oh my god, yes, the fairy is there. These are fairies, if you capture them in their bottles, um, and you'll die, it'll automatically heal you back to full health, so, usually there's, like, two to one of them at, like, every, uh, boss room, so, uh, yeah. Is there one more in here? Oh, thank you! Oh, pfft, well, I don't need it anyway, so I'm good. Alright, you ready, guys? Let's go. Oh my god, look. There's his tail. Oh my god. Holy mother of a Wendy's Baconator. <laughs> here we go. This boss is named Guma. So all we have to do here is you see, crap, I missed. Oh my god, he's about to hit me and I just died. 
Oh, so what you're gonna do is grapple his tail right there, and once you do that, ready, ready, ready. I love his expression, it's so priceless. <laughs> Alright, so what you have to do is, you, you only have to swing once, but I like to do it just because to annoy him. And once you do that, the ceiling will fall on his head. And I think I might have said this, but guess what his name is? Goma! Yay for Nintendo for uh, being real creative about their names, not recycling them like they did with this. For those of you who don't know, Goma is the name of the first boss in Ocarina of Time. So yeah. Oh crap, I did not see that. Oh my god! Uh, let's do it again. This is the easiest boss in the whole frigging world. Uh, should have to do it once. I probably got hurt right there. Yes, I so called it. I jumped too early. Okay. So, we should need to do it one more time. I love how they just give you those pots right there full of hearts. And it's like, who really needs hearts in this boss? Uh, let's do this one more time. Holy crap, how come is that just ha Whoa! How do you come up behind? Wow, I don't think that ever happened to me. That's pretty funny. <laughs> um, let's go across again. And yeah, ooh, we actually land on the platform this time. It's a lot better because he can't reach you. And last time, three is the trick. Holy crap, he shedded. And you think you would die, but no, we have the second stage, most of them. I'm gonna hard just because I'm not a noob, but I'm, I'm just gonna do it for fun. Alright, so what you have to do is grapple his eye. Oh crap, no crap! Wow, wow. God. Thank you! Die. For the wind, slashing and hacking for the wind. Let's do it again. And oh crap! Oh, well, you can do that. That works. Oh yeah, last hit. Well, it's kind of like five for the trick right now. <laughs> um, and yay, he gets to be all shriveled and like. Just, I don't know what that's called. That looks really creepy though and turning black, but I'm not racist. But, um. And we get his eyeball for a, a treasure. No, but that turns into a heart container. Yay, a heart container. Yay. And that lava magically turns into a black swirly smoke of death. Oh, no, it, it freezes. Sorry, I'm, I'm not that good in... I don't know. Alright, so let's get our heart container. Wow, we're at seven minutes. And we've already got the boss finished. I don't think I've... I don't think we have to do next planned out. Oh, I do, but, um... If we get to the part where I'm not planned, that that's gonna be pretty funny. And like, I don't know where to go, <laughs> cause there's probably a lot of stuff we have to do before dungeon two. Um, cause yeah, I gotta plan it out. So uh, yeah. And look, Valu has calmed down. He's like, oh my god, no one's reading my tail anymore. <laughs> so, got that. Like, holy crap! It's an epic noise. Epic noise. Okay, who does that remind me of again? God, that reminds me of somebody. Uh, an elephant? No, it's like a real animal sound, though. Um, ooh, we're back on the ground. We're back on the ground. Pink! Hey, look, it's... God, okay, so I was just watching Masai and Nella's Let's Play of the Wind Waker, and um, I can't believe she just reminded me of it. That looks exactly like a Dragon Ball from Dragon Ball Z, because, like, I can't believe they brought it back. They brought it on reruns, but look, it does not look exactly like a Dragon Ball. Oh my god, so I got the emo kid. That's so, yay, we got. Guess what we got? Give me the thing about it, but I must give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. Yeah, of course, because you're like, I don't know. And we get the Dragon Ball number one. And there's Valu. This Valu's just epic. I wonder what it does up there. Play with his beard. Just sits up there, does nothing. 
Well, oh, well, he's like the watcher of the sky, so maybe he like flies around, patrols the skies, looks around the islands, I don't know. Probably see everything up there. I mean, seriously, it's like 60 feet up. No, more than that. <laughs> Wind shrine that's through that tunnel, yes. You can actually get what I'm, what I'm about to do before the dungeon, but I just like to do this after because it, it's just the way you do it. I'm actually doing what Nintendo tells us to do, of course. But at the end of the Let's Play, like nearing the end of the Let's Play, I'm probably not going to do what Nintendo meant this for it to do, but because a lot of people do that. Um, do a temple before another temple, but I'm going to do that one after. So yeah, you guys will probably know what I'm talking about. I'm going to do the... I'm gonna, okay, for those who, who know, I'm going to do the Wind Temple first, and then the Earth Temple last. I, I don't know why. I just... I just... I didn't do... I haven't done that ever yet, but I just want to try it because, yeah... Okay, guys, so we're coming over here, and we've got those tombstones. So what we have to do is get out our Wind Waker and use it. Yay! Okay, so this is this game's equivalent of the Ocarina from Ocarina of Time. It's not that hard. The same controls. Boom! Left, right, up, left, right. Alright, we learned... Wins Requiem, uh, Wins, Wins Requiem, there we go. <laughs> I, love, I love how it just like looks that way, it's like, oh my god. That's a mighty nice breeze, holy crap, it's a frog. Oh Fat frog with a belly button, holy crap, I'm Zephos. What's up, Zephos? Sorry. <laughs> okay, gives you control over the direction the wind blows, depending on how it's used. Win can be good thing or a very bad thing. You want example of being bad you see my brother. It saddens me to say that my brother Cyclos is miffed about his monument here being broken. Alright. Oh, we'll get that into later because his brother actually like controls the tornadoes of the seas and like and he's in a tornado and you have to shoot him with a bow and arrow and like he gives you something and it's just epic. And it's like he'll give you a song where it's trans whatever. Also also on uh, here, we've got this big rock. That's what she said. Oh, wait, kind, not kind, not really, but uh. Oh wait, no, that's is that the rock? Yes, it is. And when you blow that up, with something we'll get later. Um, there's a thing down there that we need to get later. Also, God, I keep referencing things to something later that we're gonna get to. But uh, oh, what do I do for the next four minutes? No, I'm just gonna end the video, even though we're not at 15 minutes. Just we're done with all the things we can do in Dragon Rush. So, and I haven't planned the stuff we're going to do after we set sail from Dragon Rush Island. But when you look on our sea map, you can see that we have a new place marked. Yay! So, oh, oh, you know we can. You know what? No, I'll cut away to that though. So, next, you know what? No, I'm going to cut away to do that right now. First, we need to set the wind for an interaction. But I think what you can do is like send it south, and then you can do whatever you want. But it's just like practice. It's like what the hell, dude? What the hell? All right. Okay, we're on 15 minutes of recording, but uh, like that's we're probably seeing 13 minutes of YouTube. So I think right now we can do the wind. Oh my God, it's my phone. You probably heard it if not. But I'm not gonna get it though, because my parents can probably like get it because yeah. We need to send it. Oh my God! What are my directions? What west? Frick. Yes, west. <laughs> God, if I'm wrong, that's gonna be embarrassing. Okay, I'm tired. Somebody better answer that phone. <laughs> yes, I knew the I knew the noise before it even sounded. Uh, so when you see that fish jumping right there, you mean you'll see that it is. So what you have to do is get out your bait, throw the bait at him, and yeah. I know what he's gonna say. Oh yeah, holy spoil fry! So yay, open up our sea chart and we get Paw Print Island. And yay, we got that. So yeah, you know, yeah, I know what it is, dude. And he also gave you some advice. So yeah. Let's go! Alright, so next time on Let's Play Zelda The Wind Waker, we are going to 
head set sail to that place right there. So, see you guys then. But probably we're gonna do some before this. So, see you guys then.